since I was four and I've just seen it gone downhill and um, I just the amount of apathy just really is frightening so if you're not directly affected then I guess it doesn't affect you right I mean we're not your future we're just crazy kids but I don't think that's true and even what if I find interesting about like corporate media is how they only show like all the bad things, more, yeah. or, le more or less. Or the, only the things that support their needs. Yes. And they're like, oh, little Sally, our kitten was gone for two years, and then she came back. Oh, and um, the schools are losing money. But, um, oh, the poor kitten, and they show like fading in, fading out of the cat. Why are you out here? Well, I'm out here to actually support uh, no budget cuts because that's all I've known all my life in school is that budget cuts and really a lot of crap that's been coming from people to just cut us back, take the money to go build bombs to nuke some country because we can't get oil from them or something like that. Because everything costs money now. If you want to be school spirited, you have to pay. 
And it's just like, that's crazy. Spirit shouldn't come from money. But um, I'm an optimist. I think that there's a whole lot of bad stuff in the world, but I think that I can do my little part to change it. Mm -hmm. um, you know the glass is half empty, half full type thing? Well, I think that the glass is half empty, but I can change that. I can make it more full. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. No wise men at their end, no dark is right. Because their words have forked no lightning day. Do not go gentle into that good night. Good men the last way by, crying how bright. Frail deeds might have danced in a green bay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Wild men who caught and sang the sun in flight and learned too late, they grieved it on its way. Do not go gentle into that good night. The thing is, um, I'm gonna tell you a story. My grandfather, he mined coal, that's what he did. He was a coal miner. He started mining coal when he was 14. He completed the eighth grade. That was the last grade he completed. It wasn't because he wasn't a good student. It was because he had no high school. The people of his town were trying very hard to build a high school. The people of his town worked for years and years and put their life savings into constructing a high school. <coughs> the day on which this high school was to open, a cave-in occurred. You see, the coal company didn't like the idea of the people in this town being educated. So they dug a shaft right underneath that high school and they caved it in and he never got to go to high school. <laughs> Some of us are going to be going inside and lobbying some legislators. We're going to ask them to agree to pledge that they will not vote to adjourn until the legislature has produced a long-term funding plan for Oregon schools. But we also have a very important message for all the citizens of Oregon. You made that pledge. I made that pledge some months ago. Good. Did you sign ours? Okay. Yeah. You got another one? It's a different one? How, how do you feel about what the students are here in the capitals to do today? Um, well, first of all, I think it's very important that uh, the students are here, um, not just today, but on any occasion when they're able to come down. Uh, they serve as uh, my reminder and uh, our reminder that um, adults have not done a good job of looking out for uh, not only the educational needs, but uh, <coughs> other needs of our children and our young people. The Secretary of Education under Richard Nixon was a man by the name of uh, Robert, uh, Roger Freeman. And he said once in a report he was giving to the President Nixon, and it was very worried tone in this report, he reported, quote, we are in danger of creating an educated proletariat. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be an educated proletarian. There is um, the need to look at uh, the rate that corporations pay in our current tax structure. That needs to be shifted. Mm -hmm. You think um, they don't pay enough, is what you mean, or they pay too much? Or? Well, not enough. Not I think, enough. again, the issue is equity. Mm -hmm. Equity. Um, equity in alignment with what um, is paid by, through income tax and through, say, property tax. So mm -hmm. that whole structure, the whole um, tax structure needs to be revised, reformed. Public school districts all over Oregon are suffering. In the Portland public schools, per student spending has dropped $2,000 in the last 10 years. 
Class sizes are growing, days are being cut, and schools are closing. Next year's situation will be even worse. As a student, I wonder, when will the legislature, the governor, and the voters stand up and show that they care about our state and that they care about our education? What it is, is ultimately what you always hope is that the people who are elected in any position have the courage and the character that they're going to step up and do the right thing. And doing the right thing is making hard choices. Well, And I, I guess, how do you get us in that position to do that? Obviously, that uh, I keep urging them all the time to do it, but uh, ultimately, I think that it's going to be people, the citizens, that actually get them to say, this is what you got elected to do, and this is what you get paid for. Why don't you do it?
ladies and gentlemen, this is just comic relief. This has nothing to do with the political message of the day, just in case you were getting confused on the media there. If you were corporate media, I'm sure you would put this on the news, and it would be the only thing you'd see on the news. I'm trusting that David has a little more sense than that. I'm painting nails in the hall and frayed. Oh, I sure hope my seams are straight. Lord, don't let my mascara run tonight. Because I'm driving a truck, driving a big old truck. Rolling down the interstate, just trying to make a buck. Wearing feather boas with sequins and chiffon as I'm driving a truck with my high heels on. I'm driving a truck. I'm in a big old truck. The smoke is on my tail and the accelerator stuck. And I'm late for my appointment down at the hair salon. So I'll be driving a truck with my high